Good morning Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Maths video. Today we're going to be looking at solving problems involving shapes where the scale factor is either known or can be found. Here's your fluent at 5, please pause the video and have a go. And there is your answers. So, I'm not going to give you examples, you're just going to have to go straight into doing the challenges. It's still related to scale factors. We've done it the last two days, so if you really struggle, maybe go back and watch bits of the other videos. So this problem says, the rectangles described in the table are all similar to each other. Fill in the missing lengths and widths to complete the sentences. So you need to work out what the scale factor of enlargement is for each one, but you need to spot the patterns and see if you can work that out. And the next one. This is a regular hexagon and it has been increased by a scale factor of three. So this is it after it has been increased by a scale factor of three. What was the perimeter of the original shape? So this requires you to know something about regular hexagons and perimeter. The next one, the yellow rectangle is an enlargement of the blue rectangle. The blue rectangle has a perimeter of nine centimetres work out the perimeter of the yellow rectangle. So concentrate on that one and see how you can work that out. And last one. Here are two equilateral triangles. The blue triangle is three times larger than the green triangle. Find the perimeter of both triangles. Let's have a go and I'll go through the answers in a moment. So. Hopefully, you looked for relationships, and you can see here that from rectangle A to rectangle B, you've gone from a width of two centimetres to four. And you know that two times four, some two times two is four. So you've multiplied by two, so your scale factor of enlargement is two. Then five times two is ten, so your missing number was ten, ten centimetres. Then from A to C, you've gone from five to twenty-five, and but to do that, you've multiplied by five. So this time your scale factor of enlargement is 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25, you do 2 times 5 to give you 10. Then from A to D, you didn't have the information here, but you did over here. 2 to 18, the 2 times 9 is 18. So your scale factor of enlargement is 9. And then 5 times 9 is 45. So your missing length was 45. Well done if you followed all of those steps and you got that correct. Next one, and this required you to know that a regular hexagon has six equal sides. Now, so that tells you that each of these sides is six centimetres. It's been increased by a scale factor of three. So you had a shape, it was multiplied by a scale factor of three, and it became six. Well, what number increased by a scale factor of three makes six? Well, two, because two times three gives you six. That tells you that in your original hexagon, you had two centimetre sides. And again, it's a regular hexagon, so each was two. So two centimetres multiplied by your six sides gives you 12 centimetres. So your perimeter of your original shape was 12 centimetres. Next one. The yellow rectangle is an enlargement of the blue. The blue rectangle has a perimeter of nine centimetres. And you needed to work out the perimeter of yellow. Well, you've actually got all the information you need. You know that this end side is two centimetres, so this side is two centimetres. Add them together and you've got four. Now you needed nine, so you need five more. Your five more is a combination of this side and this side added together, but they're both equal. So half of five is 2.5. So you know that each side is 2.5. Because 2.5 add 2.5 add 2 add 2 is 9. Now you know that this side is 2.5 centimetres, you can work out your scale factor to begin to work out what this side is. So if you've gone from 2.5 to 10, well if you double 2.5, you get 5. And if you double that, you get 10. So you are multiplying by 4. If you know that 25 times 4 is 100, it's the same concept. So now you know that you've gone 2.4, 2.5, sorry, times 4. So your scale factor is 4. That's then all you need to multiply this by to work out this side. 
two centimeters times four is eight. So this side is eight, this side is eight, and this side is 10. And if you add them all together, you get 36. So the perimeter of the yellow rectangle is 36. Really well done if you got that right. And lastly, here are two equilateral triangles. The blue triangle is three times larger than the green triangle. Well, that was all the information you needed. You know that it's an equilateral triangle, so all sides are the same length. And you know that this side is five, which means this side is five, and this side is five. So all together, the perimeter is 15. Now you know this one is three times larger, this one must be five. If the perimeter is three times larger and it's 15, then the perimeter is five. So the perimeter of this shape is five, and the perimeter of this shape is 15. Well done for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.